Welcome to another Michigan football show. I'm Bryn Mickle. And I'm Aaron McMahon. And every week, wow, I feel like Charlie Brown in the football. Why can't this team beat a ranked team? That's that seems to be the million dollar question at this point. I think we the answer we'd be we'd be the coaches. Um, it was another week where struggles crept back. You know, the, the running game didn't get going like it had the previous few weeks. Um, the offensive line struggled again. We thought it had taken some steps. It goes up against the number one ranked defense in the country and gets trampled. Um, then the defense struggled in the second half, so it was a combination of things. And then you see Brandon Peters go down to a concussion, and then the offense just wasn't ever able to recover after that. Right. I mean, you talk about adding further injury to insult. What's going on with Peters? Is any chance he's back for Ohio State? There is. Uh, he did suffer a concussion. He's going through the NCAA mandated concussion protocol at this point, but there are several hoops he has to jump through before he gets back onto the field. Uh, right now, it's a, it's a, it's a toss-up. Um, early in the season, Chris Evans suffered a concussion, was able to return the following week. Levert Hill suffered a concussion last week and wasn't able to play Saturday against Wisconsin. So it, it all depends on the doctors and his symptoms. If he, if he looks good, um, he'll be able to play. So if no Peters, then is it O'Corn again? It is. John O'Corn is the guy right now. Jim Harbaugh has said that a couple of times now. Wilton Spate has been practicing. It's been, it's been important to note. Uh, he returned last week. He's practicing again this week, but he still hasn't been cleared for contact. That tells me he's not available to play Saturday. Um, so right now it's it's John O'Corn, and if Peters is unable to play, then you got Alex Malzona as his backup, and then you got Dill McCaffrey, who Michigan seems intent on redshirting, um, being the third guy in line. But right now, if Peters is unable to play, O'Corn is a starter. And so looming, you've got Ohio State, a vicious defensive line, a team that's trending up, a team that's still in the hunt for a national playoff. Is there any chance Michigan has in this game? I think there is. I mean, keep in mind, it's a rivalry game. Teams do play up for rivalry games. Michigan is at home at the big house, and, and they'll be gassed for this one. You know, they've lost five in a row. Um, they've lost 12 in the last 13 to this team. They, they know what's on the line. They know they've got to win. Um, so I, I do think Michigan keeps this game close, but ultimately it's going to come down to the offense whether or not they can score. Now, the offensive line took some steps in previous weeks. I thought they relapsed Saturday. A lot of questions on the offensive side of the football. I don't see them moving down the field and scoring enough points to win this game. And I think that's where, this, where it's determined. So is there any chance that this is uh, Jim Harbaugh's last appearance at the big house? No, I don't think so, unless Jim Harbaugh wants it to be. Michigan is not going to kick Jim Harbaugh out the door. I think he's going to leave under his own terms. And right now, he's got some unfinished business to do in Ann Arbor. So does he finish any of that business on Saturday? I don't think so. I, like I mentioned earlier, I think the offense is a concern right now with the, the uncertainty at quarterback. Um, the running back struggling, the offensive line not knowing what you're going to get from them. Um, there's just too many, too many things to, to worry about right now with the offense. I think the defense does keep it relatively close. Ohio State has just has too many weapons on both sides of the football. I, I think they'd run away with this one in the second half, kind of like what we saw against Wisconsin. I'm going Ohio State 34, Michigan 7. Yeah, I see two paths to victory for the Wolverines in this one. I think in one, the Ohio State team bus gets lost on 23 and misses Ann Arbor completely. I think in the other one, a meteor hits the sideline and obliterates the Buckeyes. Failing that, I'm going to go with Ohio State 35, Michigan 10. Well, that's a wrap on another Michigan football show. We'll be back next week with our season recap and a look ahead to bowl season.